Hello vlog, so I'm currently in Dubai and I'm just about to hop on a plane to Bali. So the Bali vlog officially starts now. I am so freaking tired right now. It's like 3 in the morning, but this flight had two levels and I've never been on a plane with two levels before. So it's kind of fun walking up the stairs. I had to come to the back of the plane and just show you guys. This is the lounge that you get access to with business or first class. I'm actually shocked that there's no one here because it's so cool, but they have like a full cocktail list and you can also get fresh fruit juices, literally whatever you want. They have like little snacks and stuff. So it's pretty cool. I've never seen this before. If you know, you know, I love Amadis. This is the best Amadis I've ever had. Ever, ever, ever. It's so good. We just arrived and are checking into our first hotel. So he's just letting us into our room. Thank you. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Oh nice. Thank you so much. That is beautiful. We are not risking Bali Bali. <laughs> this place is probably safe, but it's not happening on the first day. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a proper room tour. Obviously, this is the door that we came in and then immediately you turn around and it is the main living area. There's like a little bar and coffee station and then the bed, which they have decorated. So cute. And then behind, I screamed when I first seen this. This is like so Bali to me. Oh my gosh, so it's like an outdoor bath slash bathroom. Yeah, behind is the sink and get ready area. We have a private pool through these sliding doors. It's dark right now so you can't see but it's like overlooking rice fields and a little swing. We're gonna have a floating breakfast in here tomorrow. Good morning vlog. So this is our villa from the outside. This is where we're staying. Good morning vlog. I don't know if I already said good morning or not, but good morning again. Definitely a little jet lag this morning. We were up at like three in the morning and could not sleep. So I was like, you know what? Let's just capitalize off of this go catch the sunset the beach was like a six minute walk for a villa so we walked down to the beach for i keep calling it sunset sunrise we walked down to the beach for sunrise wasn't much of a sunrise though because it was quite cloudy out this morning but that's okay it just felt nice to get out and walk and now i'm just putting on a little bit of makeup i feel like bali isn't really much of a makeup place but it's the first day, so I just want to feel like a little bit put together. We have a floating breakfast coming to the room in about 40 minutes, which I'm so excited for. I feel like if you're to Google Bali on Pinterest or whatever, you see a villa with a floating breakfast. So checking that off the bucket list this morning it was actually included with the room, so that's pretty cool. Other than that, I think we are going to go to, there's like a really famous Sunday market in Chenggu, where we're staying right now, and take the day from there. So, let's go. Wow, this looks incredible. Oh my goodness. We've been walking around, it is 
so hot out. It's like Miami weather, but I don't know. The humidity just it sits differently. But Ricky's been wanting his hair braided, so we just stopped to get his hair braided, and they do massages too, so I'm getting a little foot massage. Okay, Operation Braid was I failed. unsuccessful, but I got a massage. It was lovely. They just figure out how to braid his hair. We are off to La Brisa now, which is a market that happens every Sunday. So we'll go see what little trinkets we can buy. We just checked into the spa. It's very Miami. It's super cute. I'm gonna do a full body scrub. We, that is a huge bee, Ricky, okay. Sat down to get some lunch. We did La Brisa Market. Unpopular opinion, it was really nice, but it wasn't like Bali prices. We checked out some of the other markets in Chenggu after I couldn't tell you the names of them. We just walked around and we're walking to all these little markets. They're everywhere. I think we enjoy just the one-off little markets more, but La Brisa Market was still really beautiful. I've seen it all over TikTok, so you know we had to be there, but we got some little souvenirs and clothes at the smaller, more quaint markets. Uh, we're just sitting down for some lunch and then we're going to go to the spa. I got a Balinese soup, even though it's so hot out. Good morning vlog. We've had a really chill morning. We woke up, did some yoga, meditated, shot some content, and now we're actually packing up the villa. We only stayed here for two nights, two days. Already lost track of time, and it's literally the second day. Great. I was actually working with this hotel, so I finished up doing what I needed to do with them this morning. And yeah, we're packing up the villa, taking in the last of these beautiful views. I actually have no idea where we're going next. Ricky booked all the Airbnbs. I was too indecisive because everything was so beautiful. So I was just like, you decide. So the next Airbnb, well, all the Airbnbs that we're staying in now are gonna be a complete surprise to me, so. I'm really excited to see where we are going next. We're just gonna walk around Chengdu this morning, which is where we're staying. I don't know if I ever said that or not, but gonna go walk around Chengdu, get some brekkie, get some lunch, do some shopping. All the little shops here are so cute. So cute. So yeah, that's what we're gonna go do. Let's have one last moment for this view. It is so beautiful. Just waking up to this, wow. We got a Reuben chicken schnitzel, 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 <laughs> um, and my smoothie has coffee in it. We're just walking around Love Anchor Market right now. It's really nice. They have every piece of jewelry you could ever imagine. I got some of these bowls yesterday for my mom and I. And I actually, I got them engraved on the back to say Bali 2023. There was someone there that would engrave them for me. Where I travel, I always get my grandpa a coffee mug and he goes to coffee every Wednesday and brings a mug from where I've been and he thinks it's cool to sing. So I just found him his Bali mug and we're getting it engraved. Okay, we're just driving to the next B&B. Like I said earlier, Ricky booked everything, so this is all a surprise to me. So let's go do this room tour together. We've arrived. Okay, scratch that, we're at the wrong place. I don't know how this happened. It's their like sister hotel, so they're gonna get our, their driver to take us to the other hotel. I think we actually made it this time. Uh, Thank you so fine. much. Yeah. Okay, this is stunning. Okay, so here's our bed and it has a view of the pool. And then there is the outdoor bathroom situation again. This tub, obsessed. Oh, it's gonna be hot getting ready in the morning. 
there is a shower back here. Oh, this is a shower? That's so cool. That's so cool. It's a huge space. <laughs> the water just hit me. <laughs> this is the shower. That's so funny. We just ordered room service. How much is this? This was all $11. Here's a better image of the food, but all this and two fresh fruit juices for $11. Honestly, the food in Bali is so cheap. So they bring complimentary popcorn when you sit down, which is kind of fun. And this is what we got. Good morning vlog. We made it to Ubud. We're kind of doing a day trip here. We had the monkey forest in mind, which we'll probably still end up doing, but we just got to a cafe and realized that this whole main area of Ubud actually looks like our vibe. So definitely spend some time exploring and See where the day takes us but our batteries are on two percent right now like our hunger batteries we are so hungry zero energy cannot wait to eat but we just got to this cafe called black eye and i should have showed you guys the menu because the food here looks so hopefully it holds true but yeah let's go explore the food I got a caramelized latte, which is really good, but look at this milkshake. I got a pad thai, and this is the truffle burger. It's insane. finished up at the monkey forest which was low key kind of scary everyone was looking around and was like why did we all pay to put ourselves in danger but it was really cool i tried to get as much footage as i could but i was honestly scared that the monkeys were going to steal my camera because they were getting into everyone's business so we just took gojax i think i still have a thing on my forehead from an imprint on my forehead from the helmet but we just took scooters up to kretia which I thought it was just a pool club, but there's like rice terrace and a bunch of photo ops and a coffee museum and a swing. So we're gonna go check it out. Okay, so I'm picking out a dress to wear on the Bali swing. I think I'm just gonna do white, maybe pink, but I think I like the white. Here is our hammock situation. Okay, so this Krita Krita, I don't know how to say anything, has been by far our favorite thing we've done yet. So decided to spend the rest of the day here. We got a day bed just to post up in, but the pool is insane. I've never seen anything like it before. It's like, I don't know, two or three levels and there's restaurants in between but our little hammock situation day one is pretty cool too. Super random, but I got pumpkin soup and it looks bomb. We just got back to our villa. Gonna shower, shower outdoors, wash our face and go to bed. We are exhausted, but this was so far the coolest thing we've done. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, it was just like what you think of Bali, all in one spot, it's really cool. Anyways, we'll talk to you in the morning.
Good morning vlog. We have been taking a really chill morning. I think the jet lag has kind of caught up to us. We've been waking up at like 3 a.m. each morning and then dozing off and whatever until like 5 a.m. So we did wake up and get breakfast around 6. The breakfast was bomb. This is like the first breakfast that I truly enjoyed. And then just came back, hung out, took it easy. I shot some content. The mosquitoes here are no joke. I tried to lay outside and got eaten alive and we've also been getting eaten alive inside. I woke up with bug bites all over me this morning and like all over my face. It looks like I have a bunch of pimples but they're just mosquito bites. So we got the villa staff to come spray our room with something because we literally cannot sleep in here. Even when we're under the covers, they're under the covers with us. Like it was been kind of a nightmare these last couple nights. I wasn't getting bit so bad on the first night, just Ricky was, but last night I got eaten alive in my sleep. So hopefully that handles itself for the following nights because I don't actually know if we can stay here. We both have like a lot of mosquito bites on us. Took it easy this morning and now we're headed into Changu. I have a collaboration with a nail salon and Ricky has a photo shoot and then in the evening we're working with a restaurant for sunset which I'm really excited for and then come back and by the time we come back it'll be about 8 p.m. probably and that means it's 8 a.m. in the work world for my actual job, so that's when I'm gonna log in, do some meetings, catch up on some work, and then go to sleep. So that's our day. Anyways, let's go into Changu and get our nails done. This is the bug spray that we have been using the last couple days, and it's actually been working really well amidst waking up with a million and one mosquito bites. We just didn't wanna douse ourselves in product before we went to bed because it does have a strong smell, but it's by Fern and Petal. It is more natural. It doesn't have all the harsh ingredients in it, which is awesome. I have a discount code. I will include it for you guys. But yeah, the bottle is almost <laughs> used up between the two of us in the last couple days. So we'll definitely be sleeping in it tonight. Also, I don't know if y'all can see this, but this is most likely the problem. None of the windows or doors properly close. They all have just like a tiny little opening so the outside has been coming in there's been geckos and literally everything in the room which granted i don't know if this is normal or not for bali because our last villa had a similar situation slash issue the um door also in front of the pool didn't close properly but you could see they were constantly spraying for mosquitoes in the rice field so the bugs weren't coming in as much where this we have basically an entire property and no one's coming in our backyard to spray for mosquitoes so i don't know if this is normal or if it's just the two villas we chose but we are living in nature So I got my nails done and then I went to go meet Ricky at his shoot and I ended up joining in on the shoot. It was with a restaurant called the Avocado Factory. It was like a group shoot, so there was a bunch of us. It was fun. It was kind of torturous because we were so hungry and there was so much food in front of us and we couldn't touch it. Here is the aftermath. That was definitely one of the best meals yet, and the view was amazing. I'm not a dessert girl, but the dessert was extremely good as well. 10 out of 10, vibes, views, food, great. I'll show you guys the restaurant name.
morning-ish vlog. We went to a little French restaurant this morning, which was really good. It was supposed to be brunch, but we ended up getting steak frites because we've been waking up so early, so by the time we're eating, we're like craving lunch food. Anywho, we just got to Finn's Beach Club. We're gonna keep it chill today, check out maybe one or two beach clubs. Finn's is like super famous, super popular, so gotta go check it off the list. We ended up doing one of the VIP chairs at Finn's. It was actually pretty booked up considering it's a, is it Wednesday or Thursday? Today's Thursday. Thursday, okay. I guess Thursday is like a fun day. Anyways, the VIP actually comes with Ella stuff. So you get a lot of like drinks and coffee, and water, a little benefits. The little branded gelato that they brought. It's so cute. There you go. Don't drink beer, but this is an Indonesian Rattler. Lemon, so good. Yeah. <laughs> it is the evening now. I don't even know what time it is. 7.09. Yeah, we've been here all day. We got here at like 11 a.m. We're honestly kind of planning on hopping around today, but it was a vibe, so. We stayed here all day and the spend for the VIP chairs was like 160 US dollars but you got all of these free things included. We ate like 17 meals and drank all day. Well, not crazy but like coconuts and fresh juices and cocktails and beer. Everything. We had like four meals each. Easy. They brought us lemon cello so lemon cello shots yeah, for two, free. Yeah. Two of them. It's the beach club, like this is also the beach club, but like the beach club club where you just go crazy and there's a swim bar and stuff. That's over there. And then this is the VIP area, which is just a bit more chill. A lot more calm. A lot more calm. And which we love. Tools. Yeah. Which we love. There's out of ten recommend. Yeah. If you come to Fins, get a VIP uh day bed. You're only gonna spend like $80 US a person, and you're gonna have at least four or five meals with at least five cocktails. So, like, you're, you can't beat it. It's amazing. Anyways, we're gonna go back, go to bed. I gotta, I gotta work, but ah. we're gonna go to bed. With that. just got to 180 Beach Club. We went to, what was it called this morning? Uh, One Fins? Single Fins. Single Fins. <laughs> and the views were amazing. The food was really good too. But we're gonna go to a beach club for a little bit. We just checked in and they take you to the actual club on the golf cart, which is kinda cool. So that's where we're headed to now. We just got to the Uluwatu Temple to see the kekak and fire dance. Probably just butchered that, but the tickets sold out really fast, so it's like 4.35 right now, and we got tickets for the 7 o'clock show, so we're just gonna hang out and explore the temple, but it is so beautiful here. That is where the dance happens at 7 p.m. Good morning vlog. So this morning we had an early wake up call. We were on the road by 5.30 and drove to Lavina Island because we are swimming with the dolphins. So I actually seen this on TikTok, but let me show you guys the boat. 
so I think this is the boat we're taking, but essentially you just like hang on to the rods on the side and they drag you through the Indian Ocean. And there's supposedly supposed to be a bunch of dolphins that jump and do their thing, so we'll see. So yeah, that's the boat, but we're like two and a half hours from Seminyak. I don't even know how long this tour lasts, so we shall see. I really hope we see some dolphins. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous now looking at this boat. It doesn't look, uh... <laughs> it doesn't really look up to uh, standard. But it should be good. We'll see. Got us some tea. Hmm? So I think what they're going to do is they put these into the water and then you just hold on, pray, and go. with the dolphins which was insane and now we are gonna go snorkeling in the coral reef seeing these signs everywhere for a suckling pig, so I feel inclined to try. Good morning vlog. Woke up still thinking about how incredible yesterday was like the whole thing feels like a movie 10 out of 10 would recommend but don't take the recommendation from me because i don't want to be in charge of your injuries such liability of activities but so cool we went out for dinner last night in Seminyak. we went to a steakhouse called boy and cow i'm not a steak girl but it was actually really good it was definitely like a fancy restaurant in Seminyak. they had a dress code and whatnot and yeah 10 out of 10 really good and then after that i was fighting for my life so tired but we walked around because we wanted to see like maybe the nightlife a little bit and see what's up but we ended up at the spa and got a massage and a facial i got the best massage of my entire life foot massage and a really good facial for 13 us dollars like where else in the world so yeah it was really good it wasn't like the most aesthetic spa like we've been going to honestly the spas that we've gone to prior have been good experience vibes all that but maybe the treatment has not been quite as good last night the spa wasn't as aesthetic i'll attach a photo of it um because i forget the name it was just kind of like a hole in the wall spa in Seminyak, but it was really really freaking amazing i actually fell asleep so that was our night last night. Now we are going to head into Chenggu, I think, to get some brunch and we're gonna have a chill day. We're feeling pretty tired from yesterday and we woke up with all these random bruises on our body because the activities were <laughs> crazy. So we're gonna have a chill day, probably get another massage because we're all so extremely sore from hanging onto the side of the boat and getting dragged however fast through the Indian Ocean. I'll see you later. So what's so crazy is all of this is eight US dollars and this is like a super trendy place. We just walked over to Gold Dust Spa. It is so beautiful here. We're gonna get some massages to help 
work out the kinks from yesterday's activities, but 